Hi there, my name is Ben Smith and welcome to the Fort Collins Family Medicine Center. Uh, we are a primary care clinic here in Fort Collins and we're also home to the Fort Collins Family Medicine Residency, which is a training program for doctors when they graduate from medical school that helps them become board certified in family medicine. Uh, this is our clinic waiting room and uh, patients of all ages come to our clinic here. As a family medicine training program, we train doctors to take care of patients from birth through their childhood, through their adolescence, through adulthood. Um, if they choose to have children, we take care of them during pregnancy, and then we're there for them throughout their adulthood and at the end of life. So we have a lot of stuff going on here, and it's a really exciting place. There's a lot of learning that happens, there's a lot of growing that happens, and it's a wonderful place to be. So we're excited to tell you a little bit more about it, and can't wait for you to get to know us a little bit more. The Family Medicine Center is a unique primary care office, because not only are we taking care of patients, but we're also training residents. Dr. Carden is a third year resident in our program. He's about to graduate and after completing four years of medical school, he spent three years here becoming board certified in family medicine. Hi, I'm Trevin Carden, like Dr. Smith said, one of the residents here just about to graduate and move on to the rest of my career in family medicine. But the Family Medicine Center is a great place to train and take into what you learned in medical school and, and apply it to real life patients, like here in one of our um, patient rooms. Um, to hear more in depth about uh, residency training and family medicine residency, let's hear from one of our other residents, Dr. Basram. My name is Rinjo Basram. I go by RJ. I'm one of the residents here at our program. Um, went through four years of college, so undergraduate studies, got my major in molecular biology, and then I went to medical school for four years. When you're a resident physician, you're still getting training and you'll have an attending physician who has already been through residency, so they've usually completed three to four years of residency training after medical school and are now basically a faculty or attending physician in the hospital where if we have any questions as residents and then also when we kind of go through our entire management plan, which medications we're going to give to a patient, uh, what our plan is going to be to treat them. Uh, we always run that by the attending physician who is basically like a supervisor for us or our boss essentially. The Family Medicine Center is a great place to work. Uh, there's a big team that makes our patient care happen and every single person who works here plays a part in that great patient care. I'm Margie Bennett. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. It's actually such a great place to be and I'm really lucky because it is an educational facility. So our residency, we're training family practice doctors, so we get to be here working with patients. The majority of our patients are underserved. Um, many of them have Medicaid, many of them are not insured at all. So they're folks that have limited resources, so a lot of time is just spent connecting people to resources that can be helpful. I love that I can come in and I don't really know what the day is gonna look like. I'm just, I'm much more of that kind of a person though to just sort of roll with it. Mm -hmm. So whatever comes up, I'm just ready to go. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of flexibility and it's just an ability to work with lots of different people. I'm Kristen Andreen. I'm the clinic medical director at the Family Medicine Center. I help oversee with a team of people the direction of the clinic. Uh, some of the main things that I focus on are making sure that we're taking care of the whole population of people that we take care of. Uh, and we do this by looking at various measures of quality. My name is Dennis Conroy and I'm an access, uh, patient access specialist now. During the day I'm, I'm answering calls, scheduling appointments, sending messages to the doctor, uh, taking referral requests things like that as more of um, an in-between between the patient and the doctor. I also work as a prior authorization specialist for medications to get medications approved uh, for the patients if the insurance company doesn't want to pay for them. My name is Amanda Lloyd and I'm a licensed practical nurse. Um, I went to high school at Poudre High. Being a family medicine nurse is kind of cool because you do get to see all kinds of patients. You see the babies and you see the in-between, you see them when they're pregnant and then you get to see their babies and you get to see them as they get older um, and you have a geriatric population or an older population as well so we get everything in the door. When Dr. Cardner, one of the other residents, is seeing patients in clinic, uh, the attending physicians are available in this room to provide support, answer questions, or any teaching that's um, applicable to the, the patient that they're seeing. To hear more about that, let's hear from one of our faculty physicians, Dr. Davis Blanton. Davis Blanton, uh, 
doctor here at Family Medicine Center. My average week, I spend about three half days in my own clinic and then four half days attending for the residents. So that means I um, help them with their clinic patients. They'll see them on their own and then come present them to me, talk about what they're thinking in terms of a plan or, or work up and, and we discuss you know what the evidence says and whether that's a good plan or not. And usually I just bless it and say, hey, you did a great job or uh, you know make small, small corrections here or there. College is one thing. Decide if you want to keep going from there. Medical school, you can you can work in between. Um, said I was a high school teacher before I got into medicine, and um, you know then it just just kind of flows from there. Um, it's still a very valuable career. It's it's fun. It's challenging. Um, it's stressful, but in the end, you're you're helping people um, and and have a great career. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and get to know the Fort Collins Family Medicine Center and the Fort Collins Family Medicine Residency. We were really excited to show you around and to show you the great team that makes the patient care that we provide here possible. We're even more excited um, in the next coming months to maybe get to know you a little bit better. There's gonna be some opportunities uh, for us to work together with Poudre School District to help people envision their own unique path uh, to a career in healthcare and to help you think about what that might look like for you. So we look forward to meeting you soon and thanks again for spending some time with us today.